There are a lot of myth-fortunate myths about water conservation, and when you hear water professionals repeat them, you have to wonder whether or not they're myth-taken. One mythry in particular centers on water conservation and if it helps or hurts a utility's bottom line. Let's take a look. Traditionally, water utilities have profited by increased sales, higher volumes, or higher rates. Conservation implies less quantities sold and therefore decreased revenue, right? But is it really that simple? Can anti-conservation decisions ultimately add costs to ratepayers and bonding authorities? Perhaps, if water resources are not being maximized. Let's look at some facts and figures and then see if this myth has any merit. In many instances, utilities that increase water rates may find that revenue from bills stays constant. Data gathered in Texas between 1990 and 1997 shows that home water use is lower in utilities with higher average water prices. And yet people still hold on to this myth conception. Let's also consider the effects of demographics and climate. According to the U.S. Census, people are relocating from former industrialized areas, the Northeast and the Iron Belt, to the Sun Belt and the Desert Southwest, areas where originally there was little or no water for any type of growth or development. From 2000 to 2010, this area increased population at a rate greater than 10%. Add in the effect of drought in these areas, and water goes from limited to scarce. One utility that's no stranger to the scarcity of water is the San Antonio Water System, or SAWS. Since the early 1980s, their conservation program has become a cornerstone of the community's long-term water management strategy. In 1993, SAWS developed a year-round conservation program to reduce the frequency and impact of severe drought restrictions. In 2005, the city passed a conservation ordinance detailing provisions that could provide a savings of 1.3 billion gallons of water annually, or three gallons per person per day. As a result, SAWS has been able to serve 50% more people with 0% more water. Today, SAWS encourages citizens to conserve, providing free residential water-efficient toilets, water saver landscape rebates, and commercial and educational outreach. San Antonio is growing fast. We're anticipating having 20,000 people come to our community every year. In order to meet their needs, we will need new supplies. Conservation is going to be one of them. In fact, 15% of our new supplies will come from conservation. Those conservation supplies will be much cheaper than every other new supply. In fact, less than one third of the cost of our next cheapest new water supply project. We get asked a lot in San Antonio about the economic costs and benefits to water conservation. So several years ago, we actually contracted out to find out what those were. And the good news was that we found that for every dollar we invest in water conservation, we save long term at least seven. That is a bargain for our community, and it's important for other water utilities to assess it the same way. We need to get beyond talking about how much revenue are we collecting this month to talk about what are our long-term costs to our community. And if conservation gives a yield of $7 for every $1 invested, that's something that pretty much everybody can get behind in this day and age as a really good investment. Conservation also saves money when it comes to capital development costs. With more individuals consuming less water, there is less of a need to construct additional treatment plants. Conservation also results in a utility being better prepared to deal with changing future conditions that limit supply, such as droughts. An established ongoing conservation program can avoid future impacts to revenue when drought conditions or other source limiting events occur. With more individuals consuming less water, there's therefore less of a need to develop alternative sources and construct additional treatment plants. So, just how much can conservation save you in long-term capital development costs? The San Antonio water system has saved up to $2.7 billion in developing alternate water supplies and up to $1.1 billion in developing additional wastewater treatment capacity. 
Therefore, water conservation can actually help the bottom line by increasing a utility's customer base while avoiding the need to expend large sums for new supply capacity and to increase customer water rates. Not to mention that conservation results in a utility being better prepared to deal with changing future conditions that limit supply, such as droughts. Conservation hurts the bottom line? This myth is busted. Additionally, not only government, but also businesses and individuals are starting to take note of the importance of sustainability. Some states have introduced legislation requiring efficient water fixtures, such as low-flow toilets and faucets in residential and commercial construction. Additionally, the U.S. Green Building Council provides a certification program for building owners and operators that implement green building designs, construction and operations, and maintenance solutions. Even small individual ideas can make a huge impact. For example, many hotels have adopted a program to encourage guests to use the same towel for more than one day. In tourist areas, this results in millions of gallons of treated water that remains available and can actually result in energy cost savings in the tens of thousands of dollars. A little water conservation makes people feel better about themselves and unites communities under a single banner of cooperation joining together to be water stewards for future generations. So when it comes to conservation, don't be myth-guided. Conservation helps water suppliers, municipalities, and even consumers. And cities with strong conservation programs are considered to be the forward-thinking leaders in the water community. Conservation, stewardship, and sustainability are the benchmarks for economic and sustainable success. Remember, keeping consumption reasonable keeps costs reasonable. Conservation works.